Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 32 of my modded Factorio playthrough. In this episode, we are going to work on producing various types of inserters. Enjoy. So we can unlock fast inserters, which use a lot of the same parts we've already been working on. It just weirds me out. They're red now. Like, I know that uh, the reds were the long-handed inserters, and uh, they were actually slightly faster than yellow, so there was a reason to use them, but then they were removed. Uh, from Bob's, so you just didn't use the reds anymore. And now they're back. <laughs> but they have the blue icon still, so it's freaking me out. I'm sure that'll be updated at some point. And it makes more sense because the, you know, the red inserters match the red belts as far as speed and all that, so it makes sense. So we'll want to research those. And I noticed here we got lots of good stuff. Stack inserters. Can we make stack inserters? We can! Look at that! Awesome. Great. How much do they hold right now? I think they hold... That's plus one. So does that mean they hold four now? Well, regardless, they're fast. They'll be great for train stations. Man, there's lots of stuff we're going to want to research. So we want the fast inserter, the stack inserter, let's see, the fast filter inserter, where is it? There we go. And that's the ex- wait, that's the express. Okay, so it already unlocks the normal one. Oh, that's weird. I think that's uh, a bug. I don't know, it's just weird that the uh, stack filter inserter unlocks the express stack inserter, which is the next tier higher. So that's kind of weird, even though it requires green science. That seems misplaced a bit. Hmm. Oh well. It's just weird how all the colors got mixed around. So I want fast inserters, stack inserters. And actually having more inserters would be nice too. I think this will let us have them be extra long, so they'll be able to reach uh, three squares instead of two. Okay, so this unlocks uh, diagonal inserters, it looks like if we'd ever need to do something like that, but now we have more options, but looks like the ultra long hands are going to have to wait for later. We need to start building inserters. It looks like our base is taking quite a while to catch up. Uh, that is unavoidable, really, because um, we're basically limited based on our saprite output here, and we're more or less mining at full speed, so we can't really improve production here and get that much more output. Um, we could research some technologies to make smelting and stuff like that easier. Um, I don't know how much it's going to be worth it, unfortunately. Because we don't have any uh, Jivalite yet. We could make the Sephirite go a lot longer if we had Jivalite to mix with it. And we can make it go farther if we had manganese. Silicon we could combine, because we do make a lot of silicon. That would make it go longer. We'll take a look at that a little later, because we're basically we're short on uh, copper, too. But it could just be that uh, building a bus takes up uh, a lot of resources to both construct it and also to fill up all these boxes. So we'll see if it eventually catches up, and if it does, okay. Like, uh, I don't really want to commit too much into... Uh, expanding this too much because we just don't have that much output to start with so we're only gonna be able to do so much with this one patch and you know it's already at 73% so eventually it's gonna run out and we're going to have to expand so that's kind of what I'm thinking of right now is I just want to get this bus completed so we're automatically producing the parts we need in order to build something bigger so we would basically want to 
build some walls, kill off all these biters, uh, get some trains moving some of these products around, and then we could either expand or rebuild this process to handle more, handle more products at a time. Okay, so making inserters should be a little bit simpler of a process than this, since it's fairly linear. Well, we do want to make filtered ones too, so let's... Go to the beginning here, so we want to make filtered ones. Which we make from regular fast in stack inserters, which we make from regular fast inserters. Which are made from regular inserters. which are made from burners. Seems like most of these machines run at a one-to-one -one ratio here, although some of the material requirements here we can't meet. But that's okay, just wanna get the ratio as good as we can, since we're not producing iron rods on the bus for the same reasons as not making cable. Uh, they're bigger than the plates that go in, so it just clogs up your bus if you make a bunch of them. This would be the process, so then the only thing we would need to make if we wanted to was filter inserters for fast inserters and filter inserters for regular inserters. Which have their uses. Um, there's no, not necessarily a need to carry every single type of inserter in your inventory, but the way I look at it is uh, stack inserters are useful, but only if you actually need a stack inserter. Otherwise, they're just kind of... Uh, a waste, too much speed. And the same could be said for a fast inserter when a regular inserter could get the job. So I'll probably carry uh, three tiers of inserters on me, just kind of like I'm carrying three tiers of belts. One inserter, just regular, for stuff that's really slow and you need no speed at all to make it happen. And then a fast normal one, and then the fast stack inserters, which you really are only gonna need for like, Maybe the circuit machines, but like train stations and stuff like that. So there is a use for all the different things. So it's just one to one to one. Although we can change our logistic item here to fast inserter. You can see there's situations where, hmm, maybe we should put a stack inserter in there instead. Hmm, the number is the same. I wonder if it's calculating the bonuses. So it's got an inserter capacity of 2, but then stack inserter is capacity of 2. I thought they would stack, but maybe they do not. I want to test that. Okay, we have a stack inserter up top. A regular one on bottom. Do they go at the same speed? They do. Interesting. That seems kind of odd. For balance. <laughs> uh, hmm. Uh, maybe we should be uh, researching these then. Oh, but they're so expensive. Yeah, let's research these to at least make stack inserters better. Alright. That'd be kind of weird to not use them. Because they weren't... <laughs> they weren't <laughs> faster. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do our practice build over here. And it looks like it's basically going to be... Pretty much a straight line. Although it would be smaller if it was a straight line going up. So let's see here. So this first belt will be engines. 
bring the engines in there. We can make this filter inserter. So we can pull it off to the side. So we need two red inserters, or let's just put one stack inserter because when it is upgraded, it will be able to handle that. So we need circuits, lots of gears which we can't make, and lots of bronze plates. I think that's got all the resources covered. It doesn't really require too much, so we get motors off of this belt right here, and then bronze plate and steel wheels come off of here and feed those machines. Over here is just the iron, and then the circuit boards come off of this one. And our factory won't be able to keep up with this production rate or anything like that, but it doesn't matter. The rods are handed over to make filter inserters, which are limited like everything else. And we do use those for uh, building power setups and whatnot. Well, I was like, we do use them for power, but technically not the way we're making them. Um, but I'll still make them. You never know when you might need some uh, burner inserters. And we make regular inserters, which are handed off over here to make filters, stored here. They're also handed off over here to be stored. And then we make fast inserters, which are stored here and handed off over here to make fast filters. From the storage box here, we make fast stack inserters, which are handed off over here and stored. And we also need to store these guys as well. I guess they would normally be stored up there following that progression, but since not, let's uh, put it right there. And then it just needs uh, power and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't think this is going to be too clean of a setup, unfortunately. Got these inserters in the middle. Can pick up stuff so fast now. Then it needs to go right here, but it might not be able to because of the position of these belts. Mm. We could uh, move these belts around, but I think I'm just going to leave this space blank, and then we could make something easy that doesn't take up a bunch of space right there. I kinda need to extend my guidelines a little further. Well, luckily that's faster too. Hmm. There's kind of almost no point in hooking it up because we just don't have the resources to uh, fill it up or test it out or anything. I was kinda hoping by the time that was built the iron would have caught up. But it hasn't. Hmm, sadness. I think that means we need to speed it up. Like, this research is just crawling along now. Okay, well, let's work on expanding our production of iron. It hinges on two different ways we can speed it up. One is by doing advanced ore refining, which gives us better ways to sort ore, but that won't really matter because we aren't making mineral catalysts yet. I mean, we could, but it's a complicated process. We would have access, though, to the better sorting facility and crusher, which I think are 33% faster, something like that, which will improve production. And then the other way is to do better iron smelting. So if we research the steel furnace, it'll give us access to metallurgy too, and those machines are going to be faster, which would be nice, but it'll also let us make molten iron more efficiently. Uh, we're not making manganese right now, um, but we are making silicon, so we could basically... This is where making alloys gets really interesting. It's not just making new materials, but you can also make existing materials with alloys as well. So we could basically cut our iron consumption in half by mixing it with any available silicon. Of course, that will only work until we have no silicon left, but that's a way of getting some free resources. Uh, and we can condense it on the belt if we wanted to by turning it into sheet coils. It doesn't save any resources right now to do it that way. So we've got uh, a process to follow. Uh, unfortunately, this second tier of refining and sorting requires clay bricks. 
So we're going to need to make those before we can do anything. Making clay bricks is kind of complicated, so we're going to have to save that for the next episode. I'll see you later.